Good morning everyone. I am Glory Bai from Department of Science. I am very glad to meet you all through this online class. I hope all are safe at home. Okay. Shall we enter the class? Lesson 20. Organ systems in animals. Lesson 20, organ systems in animals. Cows is made up of walls. Walls are made up of bricks. Similarly, all organisms are made up of cells. Our body is made up of cells. Cells are the basic fundamental unit of all living organisms. Cells join to form tissues. Tissues join to form organs. Organs join to form organ systems. Finally, all the organ systems forming an organism. Here, Group of cells, cells join to form tissues. Tissues means muscles. Tissues join to form organs such as brain, heart, kidney. Then organs join to form organ systems. such as respiratory system, digestive system, circulatory system, reproductive system. Finally, an organ system forming an organism. Example, any animal, a man, a lion. Okay. So, all the organ systems and organs work together and maintain the body of an organism because there is a harmonious coordination between them. For example, when we ride a bicycle, what happens? Our circulatory system and muscular system work together and move our arms for steering and legs for pedaling. At the same time, our nervous system directs our arms and legs to work. Our muscular system as well as digestive system provide energy to the arms and legs. So, division of labor is found among all the organ systems. Now, let us learn about organ systems, organs and their functions. Organs and their functions. organ systems. The first one is integumentary system. Sixth 
thirty is respiratory system. Seven thirty is digestive system. Eight thirty is excretory system. Nine thirty is reproductive system. Ten thirty is sensory system. And the last one endocrine system. Now we can see the organs and their functions. So the first one is integumentary system. Integumentary means skin. Okay. So organs, skin, and skin glands. Skin and skin glands. So children, we all know skin is the outer covering of our body. It has to protect our body. So function protection. Second function excretion. Excretion. So excretion means removal of nitrogenous waste products. We all know kidneys are the excretory organ. How does skin excrete? Once again, how does skin excrete? The sweat glands are present under the skin. With the help of sweat glands, if they secrete sweat in the form of salt, water, and urea. So sweat glands are present on the skin. They secrete sweat in the form of salt, water, urea. Okay. Second one is skeletal system. So skeletal system means bones. Skeletal system means bones. Wherever bones are present in our body, they are skull. Vertebral column, sternum, curdles, limbs. So skull, it is the head region. Why what is there? The brain is accommodated inside the skull. Vertebral column, that is backbone. Sternum, chest bone, curdles, hip bone as well as shoulder bone. Limbs, legs and arms. Okay, function. It gives shape to our body and support to our body. So bones give shape as well as support to our body. So next one is muscular system. Organs, muscles. Organs, muscles. Okay. Function. It helps in movement. It helps in movement. So next one is nervous system. So it includes brain, spinal cord, nerves. Brain, spinal cord, nerves. Function. It transmits no impulses. Impulses means messages. So the messages is carried by nerves from inside to outside as well as outside to inside. So next one is circulatory system. So the organs, heart, blood, blood cells. Heart, blood, blood cells. Function. So children, do you know what is the function of heart? Yes, it pumps blood. Okay. It transports nutrients, respiratory gases as well as waste products. Okay. What do you mean respiratory gases? That is oxygen and Carbon dioxide, oxygen and carbon dioxide, nutrients, what we have taken that is converted as nutrients. Okay, next digestive system, before that respiratory system. Okay, respiratory tract and lungs, respiratory tract and lungs. So respiratory tract means it is a air passage it includes nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi. So once again, respiratory tract means it is an air passage. It includes nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea and bronchi. So functions. Breathing. What is breathing? Taking in oxygen and leaving out carbon dioxide. Taking in oxygen and leaving out carbon dioxide. What is breathing? Taking in oxygen and leaving out carbon dioxide. So next one is digestive system. Okay. So the organs, digestive tract. And 
digestive glands digestive tract and digestive glands so digestive tract means it's a passage it starts from mouth to anus it's a passage it starts from mouth to anus digestive glands that is the glands associated with digestive system the glands associated with digestive system okay what are the glands associated with digestive system can you tell me children okay they are pancreas liver salivary glands intestinal glands gastric glands pancreas liver salivary glands gastric glands intestinal glands okay the function digestion absorption and ejection digestion absorption and ejection okay the first one is what do you mean digestion okay the complex food substances are broken down into simple food substances the complex food substances are broken down into simple food substances next one is absorption okay the digested food is absorbed and distributed to all the parts of the body by blood the digested food is absorbed and distributed all the parts of the body by blood the last one is ejection the unassimilated or undigested food is sent out from the body through anus that is called ejection the undigested or and assimilated food is sent out from the body through anus that is called ejection i hope all understood yes okay so the next one is excretory system okay so organs kidney ureter urinary bladder so kidney ureter urinary bladder urethra clear so functions removal of nitrogenous waste products removal of nitrogenous waste products so next one reproductive system okay reproductive system that is the organs testis and ovary testis what do you mean testis can you tell me what is the male reproductive organ the testis are the male reproductive organ ovary are the female reproductive organ which is the male reproductive organ testis which is the female reproductive organ ovary okay then function gamete formation as well as second sexual characters gamete formation as well as second sexual characters so what do you mean gamete formation so the testes produce gamete sperm and the ovary produce gamete egg cup ova the testes produce gamete sperm and the ovary produce sperm that is sorry gamete egg cup ova okay then second sexual characters so what is the meaning of second sexual characters so after attaining a sexual maturity the hormonal changes takes place in boys and girls okay after attaining a sexual maturity some hormonal changes takes place in boys and girls at the age of in boys 13 to 14 in girls 11 to 13 in boys 13 to 14 in girls 11 to 13 okay so due to these hormonal changes some secondary characters developed they are in boys beard development hard voice and broadening of shoulder beard development hard voice and broadening of shoulder in girls breast development enlargement of hip region and soft voice once again we can see the second sexual characters what are they developed in boys and girls in boys at the age of 13 to 14 then some characters develop due to hormones they are beard development broadening of shoulder as well as hard voice 
in girls breast development enlargement of cup region and soft voice or feminine voice okay so next one sensory system we all know yes how many sense organs we have we have five sense organs what are they they are eyes nose ears tongue and skin once again we have five sense organs what are they they are eyes nose ears tongue skin can you tell me what are the functions of the sensory system the first one is eyes sight nose smell ears hearing tongue taste skin touch clear yes okay the last one endocrine system the last one is endocrine system organs pituitary gland adrenal gland thyroid gland parathyroid gland pineal gland once again pituitary gland adrenal gland thyroid gland parathyroid gland pineal gland function it coordinate all the body functions it coordinate all the body functions clear clear children so we see once again so all the systems organs and their functions the first one is integumentary system organs skin and skin glands function protection excretion second one is skeletal system organs skull vertebra column sternum girdles limbs function it gives shape and support to our body third one is muscular system organs muscles function it helps in movement fourth one nervous system organs brain spinal cord nerves brain spinal cord nerves function it carries no impulses it carries no impulses the fifth one circulatory system organs heart blood blood vessels heart blood blood vessels function it transport nutrients respiratory gases and waste products it transport nutrients respiratory gases and waste products the next one is respiratory system organs respiratory tract and lungs respiratory tract and lungs function breathing function breathing so next one is digestive system organs digestive tract and function digestion absorption ejection okay organs digestive tract and digestive glands function digestion absorption ejection okay excretory system organs kidney ureter urinary bladder urethra kidney ureter urinary bladder urethra functions removal of nitrogenous waste products removal of nitrogenous waste products reproductive system organs testis ovary testis ovary function chemical formation and secondary sexual characters next one sensory system organs eyes nose ears tongue skin function sight smell hearing taste and touch the last one endocrine system okay so the glands as well, they are pituitary gland adrenal gland thyroid gland pineal gland function it coordinate all the organ systems clear children okay so next one we can see digestive system okay so you all know it is important to our body do we eat food yes for what food gives energy okay how does food give energy so the complex food substances are broken down into simple food substances with the help of these complex food substances are converted into simple food substances that is called digestion with the help of digestive system it is done by 
all the organs they are digestive tract as well as digestive glands okay now we can study the detail about digestive system okay this is human digestive system okay human digestive system so what are the parts of human digestive system mainly the human digestive system consists of two set of organs human digestive system consists of two set of organs what are they they are digestive tract and digestive glands digestive tract as well as alimentary canal and second one digestive glands clear now we can see the structure of alimentary canal okay so the alimentary canal consists of following parts can you tell me what are the parts what are the parts included in the alimentary canal they are mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine okay once again the alimentary canal consists of following parts they are mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and anus okay the first one is mouth you all know this important to our body is yes? the nutrition begins from mouth the intake of food is called mouth sorry injection the intake of food is called injection mouth is surrounded by movable upper and lower lips mouth is surrounded by movable upper and lower lips inside the mouth a cavity is present that is called buccal cavity okay buccal cavity contains teeth tongue salivary glands what are the parts are present in the buccal cavity teeth tongue salivary glands okay then this buccal cavity is surrounded by above palate below throat on the side jaws clear once again mouth the nutrition begins from mouth taking in food is called injection clear mouth leads to buccal cavity buccal cavity contains teeth tongue and salivary glands okay and the buccal cavity is surrounded by above palate below throat on the sides jaws clear remaining teeth as well as tongue we can see next class okay thank you children then one homework you take your book page number 234 page number 234 draw a neat label diagram of human digestive system see they are given parts of human digestive system have you seen okay you make a question draw a neat label diagram of human digestive system once again draw a neat label diagram of human digestive system okay so neatly draw the diagram and label the parts clear thank you children